What's going on, y'all? How y'all doing? How y'all been? So from time to time, I um I share with you guys things that I feel like I need to let go on my journey. Now I'm not gonna go down the list, but procrastination was one of them. Uh, manipulation was another one. Uh, validation was another one. Today, I want to give up partnership. Now, I'm not talking about being in a relationship. Like, you know, that's not what I'm talking about. Just stay with me. So, all my life, I have always wanted to start some. I always thought that I was greater than what I was doing at the moment. Like, I could be something else. Like, if I put my mind to the, something, I can make something work out. I'm smart enough to do this, okay? And I would always see such great things in the people around me, whatever their strength may be. And I would say to myself, oh my God, that's amazing. I'm weak in that area. You're strong in that area. And I'm strong where you're weak. We can make something happen, right? And it started out like, you know, your, your, your first people are always your family. And then I branched out into friendships as I got older, relationships, my parents, you know, just the different people I was reaching out to, like, oh, we could, oh, we could. I think I have finally come to the place where I think I need to just jump out on the dreams that I see. No one's faith is going to be like your own if they didn't see the dream. And I think that's why I've been so stagnant in my life is because I have always held on to this certain amount of codependency, right? That, that caused an amount of fear. You know, I was listening to um, an interview with what's his name kevin gates i like him sometimes but anyway we ain't gonna get into that so i was listening to an interview with him and he was talking about the amount of fear that he used to walk around with and i'm not gonna get into the list that he made it was you know a self list of fears that he was walking around with and that would make him react in certain ways with people friends family just people in passing just everybody he reacted in these certain ways because of the mask that he felt he needed to wear to protect his vulnerability at the end of the day Okay. And that made me start to think about all of the levels of fear that people walk around with. You know, it's like you have this fear of being maskless, letting people see what's behind your ego, the ego that you didn't have when you came into the world when you was five, you know, that you built that ego to protect certain parts of your vulnerability you know what i'm saying the, the soft parts the parts that would give a person the shirt off their back the parts that would get hurt or damaged or you know whatever and Fear of accountability, that's another thing that that people have, you know what I'm saying? Just being honest and showing up 
you know what I'm saying? And then there is also, like, I think that's my biggest one, is the fear of moving on and moving forward. People, places, things, uh, moving from one place to another, going to visit a certain area, whatever it is, whatever your, your thing is. But under all of those amounts of fear, like as you personally overcome certain parts of your fear, this is, I'm about to go back to the interview. He had also said that you start, you begin to be able to see where people are. You can look in their eyes and see what level they are and where they at because you've been there. And he referenced something about going to the gym and some other things, but it's just a reference, if you understand what I'm saying. If you've worked on certain parts of yourself, whatever area we talking about like whether it be you know fear of commitment fear of fear of whatever if you've worked on that part you can look clearly into somebody else while they talking to you and you can see what st stage they're on and sometimes we trick ourselves because we clearly see things in other people that you once seen when you looked in your own mirror. And sometimes we go ahead and we say, okay, I, I spot that, and you handle it accord, accordingly. But me, I think that that is a form of codependency. I, I'm not sure if it's because of the fact that I was an only child growing up and I've always wanted to have a running mate. Maybe that could be the stem from which this all carries. But I have to, you know, it, it, it really made me check within some different areas of my life and I'm like where else do I feel the need to partner just recently I went and took myself out like I didn't need anybody to go with me and I don't I, I really felt awkward and strange and that's usually for me, like all my life, I have never been out alone. Like I hear people talking about going to the show by themselves and going out to eat by themselves. And just up until maybe last week, I have never went out alone. And I said to myself, I'm going out anyway. I was supposed to be meeting somebody, but they canceled before I left. And I was like, you know what the hell with that? I wanted to go outside. I'm going outside regardless. And I had a nice time alone, very peaceful. There was a lot of people, but I, in my little area, was peaceful. So, yeah, I think I'm going to put that down. And when certain business partners and different things, they will present themselves as they need to be in my life, I'm sure. And if they don't, we're going to move forward. And that's just it. That is just it. So I hope that I didn't ramble too long. I hope that maybe I made a couple people think about their own mess and where you might be 
feeling like me. You know what I'm saying? And this is not a woman thing. This is a human thing. We all, at some stuff, we all feel. And y'all be on some bullshit if you want to say, oh, no, that's just the girls. Oh, no, niggas do that. No, like, we all have the same emotional balances and imbalances at times. You know what I'm saying? We all have the same triggers at certain times. How we handle them might be different. But anyway, y'all have a good night.